टीचर ऑफ हियर मास्टर टीचर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एट वेराम टू वेलकम टू दिस सेशन वेयर आई विल बी गिविंग यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप्स रिलेटेड टू हाउ टू राइट द आंसर्स इन द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स सो ऑफ कोर्स वी ऑल टीचर्स यू नो वी आर मेकिंग श्योर दैट यू गाइज आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टॉपिक एंड द स्ट्रैटीज यू नो वॉट शुड यू डू वॉट शुड यू नॉट डू इन द एग्जाम एवरी थिंग बट वंस यू एंटर द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल यू आर ऑल डोंट राइट सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो हाउ टू राइट द आंसर इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट नोइंग द कॉन्सेप्ट इट्स अबाउट हाउ डू यू प्रेजेंट इट ऑन द पेपर इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई एम श्योर दीज टिप्स विल बी हेल्पफुल for you to score well in the exams so not only for board exam for all the exams so ninth standard students this will be helpful for you too okay so before that how to get the pro subscription and why let's answer that question too um so you know um on our platform so you can attend the unlimited live classes so on this channel only two classes every day right so unlimited live classes with fun and high level quizzes you can compete with the students throughout the world yes not throughout the india throughout the world and if you couldn't attend a session still you can go go back and watch the replay and there also you can play the live quizzes and be on leaderboard so you can download the notes the hand written notes and the test will be conducted regularly you will get the assignments in class doubt solving it is a very very major issue right so here i'm only one so in the live chat and all that sometimes i might miss your doubts right so that won't happen in our regular sessions so along with that these are the bonuses of 5000 plus micro courses and free crash courses are also available which will help you to crack any competitive exam so go to the description you will find the link there the only platform where less is more so that is what does it mean is you know if you the one month ka subscription costs you 2619 233 per month but if you take up if you use the coupon code s u r p r o you will get it only for 2159 and 5599 so you will be saving see per class if you take up the 3 month subscription so every class each class costs you only 9 rupees but for my one month it is 11 rupees so more classes less amount okay chal so the coupon code is surpro so how to write answers in the board exams hmm so what are the tips top tips yes tip number 1 read the question thoroughly and note all the points in your mind so it is very 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 important to read the question thoroughly so that is the reason you will get some extra minutes right so sit go through the question paper properly read every question at least twice and note all the points in your mind because um most of the time how is it is uh, like when you read the question paper you we will have that feeling that yeah hey, this is easy i have studied this i have studied this but when you are about to write you will not know how to start or what are the points to be included so note all the points in your mind first before starting the answer read the question thoroughly it is very very important understand the question so understanding the question will solve 50% of your problem so please do that and tip number 2 is write concise answers so you know what they have asked that is enough and your answer should be very clear and precise so there should be clear concise complete correct so that is how you need to answer any question tip number 3 follow the word limit so you all know the word limit right so we have uh spoke about it when we were solving the sample paper i guess so one marker it's only one mark one word or most of them it will be a uh, reasoning or assertion mcq type so don't have to even write a sentence to two marker ke liye 30 to 50 words is enough then why do i have to write the whole story about that reaction or that definition So for three marks, it is fifty to eighty words. Five mark, it is eighty to one twenty words. So I have always told you, managing time is very, very important. So always make sure stay in the word limits. Okay? Yes. Even if you know the answer, it's fine. So tip number four is underline most important words. So even when we are reading, when we are just reading, also we have this habit of underlining the important words, right? So that if I have to read it again, I know what to look for. so if you know what the teacher or the evaluator is looking for in that particular answer if you have underlined it then 
he will have that opinion that okay the student knows the answer it's, it is very very important so underline most important words so tip number five write the answers in the form of a list so that will be very helpful tip number six is what is that in the form of list i'll explain it leave a line after every question and draw a line at the end of every question so we have these the teachers have this experience right we have looked at thousands of answer papers so whenever we see a very neat answer sheet so uh, you know our mind tells us that acha this student knows what is he doing so he might have answered so he might be smart he will know all the answers so that is how our human psychology is right so please the answer sheet has to be presentable and very neat so leave a line after every question draw a line at the end of every question see trust me i was not the one i'm not the one to uh, tell you this because i never followed it okay so i was always like uh, in a hurry and i'm like yes i know this answer let's just write it down and then after years i realized the importance of you know drawing a line at the end of every question leave a line so later i started following it but i can understand so the students who might be thinking oh it is so difficult for me i can't do that i'll be in a hurry i want to write a lot so please at the end of so once you are done once you have already checked or gone through the paper if you have enough time just draw a line at the end of every question so tip number 7 in long questions in longer questions start answer on a new page yes so page number 3 okay you have last two lines these are the two lines so the question number 8 ka answer ends here and ninth you will start from here why they are providing you the answer sheets right it's free no it's okay i know we should not waste paper yes but anyway that pa paper is for you so please utilize it properly always start answer on a new page if it's one word or one sentence is fine for longer answers always start answer on a new page so how do you frame the long answer first always start with an introduction main body conclusion so introduction mein you need to be very uh, precise so just describe the whole concept in a line and then start explaining it go go with the point wise answer so that will be easy for them to read and understand also you will it will be easy for you to write it down to and conclude that is it so this should be the right order so write your answer in points avoid long paragraph the point wise manner yes so always write your answer in the point wise manner okay so use any uh, you know pointers something like that so that you will know what are the important points to be included how much have you written will that be sufficient or not so always choose of course so few answers um require you to write it in paragraphs but try to write your answers in the point wise manner tip number 8 follow the logical order so this is we have this inverted pyramid structure you should always mention the most important information at the beginning of the answer okay don't start with some unnecessary uh, points related to that question so how will it help them so when, if i read something unrelated or is very less important then i'll assume that so this student is not very sure of the answer and they are just playing with the words okay so that is not going to create a very good impression so always start with the most in important information important information less important optional and then least important and give reason the point wise please justify your answers too tip number 9 draw the diagram with pencil only please do not use the pen so of course for equations chemical equations and all that you can use the pen of course so especially in biology and all that you need to use the pencil so i have seen people um, drawing the cell using pencil why right so please always use pencil to draw the diagram and use scale wherever necessary to tip number 10 is the differences write the differences in the table form and make sure that the differences should be aligned to each other so here energy is given out so the next point under endothermic will be products have more energy than reactants how is it a difference right so always write the differences in the table form 
and give relevant examples along with the definition. So if they have mentioned it in the question, good, you have to. Otherwise, also please give some examples along with the definition. So that will be easy for you to explain it as well. So for example, you know, you can start, um, this is an illustration of, or take this as an example. So this is what happens in case of dash, or, you know, so these, this is the definition. So what is a combination reaction? So a reaction in which two or more reactants combine to give a single product, for example, burning of magnesium, right? So it is always helpful. Highlight the answer in the numerical questions by enclosing in the rectangular box. So, of course, so you will do it in the stepwise manner. First, writing the formula, substituting and all that. But always make sure to highlight the final answer. So, the points, the marks will be awarded stepwise. But still, if you highlight the final answer, it will be easy for them to look for that final answer, right? Because sometimes I have seen the math paper also uh you know like some x square y y y y and there will be in one corner they have mentioned the answer how will i know which is which one is the answer but if you highlight it so only by at first glance i'll know so this guy has found out, found out the right answer or not so always highlight the answer especially in numerical questions got it yes so let me know in the comment section, got it or not. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching Elementary Chemistry by Vedantu. Uh, keep loving us. Give us loads of love. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. Like it. Yes. Hit the thumbs button. Yeah. Thank you so much, people. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Happy learning. I'll see you very soon. Got it.